it's just something about you Got me feeling like I can't live without you Anytime someone mention your name I'll be feeling as if I'm around you Ain't no words to describe you, baby All I know is that you take me high Can you tell that you drive me crazy? Cause I can't get you out of my mind Think of you when I'm going to bed When I wake up, think of you again You are my homie, lover and friend Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a glamorous Thanksgiving inspired makeup tutorial. The first thing I'm going to do is prime with my favorite eye primer right now and that is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And I'm just using that to prime my eyelids so that my eyeshadow doesn't go nowhere and it lasts throughout the whole night. And also it's going to make our eyeshadows look more vibrant. And then the next thing I'm going to do is apply some tape to my eyes because I really like that outer V. And then I'm going to put the color buff from my Lorac 2 palette and I'm going to apply that all over my lids. That way our transition shade blends better. And then for our transition shade, I'm taking the color Nectar and just buffing that in from inner corner to outer corner all over my lid. And then for my crease color, I'm taking the color light brown from the Lorac 2 palette and I'm taking a smaller dense uh, crease brush and I'm just putting this right into the socket of my crease because I really want this color to diffuse out from the pigment that I'm going to be putting on to my eyelids. The next color I'm going to use is Coco Bear by Makeup Geek. This is the only color that I'm using that's not in the Lorac Pro, but I just decided to deepen up my crease with this color and that same brush just because I really like this color to stand out when we put that pigment on top of our eyelids. I think it looks so beautiful with the pigment. Then for some glitter, I'm going to be taking Magnif Magnificent Metal Eyes by Stila in the color Complex Copper. This color is so beautiful. As soon as I got this color, it immediately screamed Thanksgiving and fall time for me. So I decided to use it in this tutorial and every single time I wear this, I literally get comments on what it is and what I used and how I used it. And then I'm going back in with that Cocoa Bear color and a pencil brush just to outline my crease and kind of like a cre uh, cut crease, but um, I'm making it a little bit more softer and not as harsh. Then using the color black from the Lorac 2 palette, I'm just going to be taking this on our outer V, outer crease area, and I'm just going to buff this all over our V, outer V just to diffuse the color and make it a little bit more dramatic. Since we are working with the black color in the Lorac Pro 2, I'm just making sure I really buff that crease out in that outer V because you don't want it to look too harsh and black can be super hard to blend out but just keep buffing it out and it will look fine. Going back with that buff color from the Lorac 2 palette, I'm just going to be highlighting my brow bone with this. And I really like this color because it helps diffuse the crease color and it's like the perfect brow bone shade. I already hit pan on this color which is kind of strange just for a white color but I seriously love it so much. I went ahead and applied my wing eyeliner off camera because I seem to never get it done right. So I used the Maybelline Eye Studio on Black is, Fat, Black, is Black. And now I'm going to apply my mascara. I use the Miss Mega and the L'Oreal Telescopic, my two favorites. And I'm just using this to apply to my top lashes and my bottom lashes as well. It's not a good look, gain some self-control 
To bronze up the skin, I'm going to I'm going to be taking the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer and a big powder brush, and I really like doing this before I contour because I feel like it just makes my contour look so much more natural than a harsh line. So I like bronzing up the skin with this, and then I go in with my Benefit Hoola bronzer and a Real Techniques contour brush and just really sculpt out my cheeks. I really have been loving contouring on and bronzing at the same time so this is just like what I do every day Then for lipstick, I'm going to be taking MAC's Retro Lipstick and I have been loving this this fall season. I just discovered this lipstick like a couple of weeks ago and I have been wearing it ever since. I am just obsessed. I cannot get enough of this lipstick and I thought it looked so pretty with the copper eyes. And then as I was filming my lipstick, I totally forgot to do blush. So I'm using Max Melba blush. This is one of my favorite all-time blushes for the fall time. And just all time around, I really love this blush because it's so neutral that it goes with any eye look. So that is basically it, you guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed this fall glam Thanksgiving makeup tutorial. I really thought that this screamed Thanksgiving and the fall season. And I just love glitter pigments and glitters throughout the holiday season. So if you guys want more like glitter or holiday glam tutorials, make sure you leave it down below on what colors you would like me to do. And that is it. And I hope you guys subscribe to my channel if you have it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.